Hi, I'm Steve Parker, and you've typed in how to connect to your higher self. Okay, so I'm going to give you a quick, a quick exercise that will that you can play over and over again, and that you can connect to your higher self. But I want to, I want to, I want to talk about one thing really, really quick first. Two things. First. Part of the reason I'm making this is because a dear friend of mine asked a question, how can I really connect to my higher self to the point of tr completely trusting whatever answers I get? In other words, how can I tell what's higher truth from what's just my imagination when it comes to getting answers and feeling really connected and guided? That is a question that is asked over and over and over and over and over again every day. Um, I've spent 13 years doing the Theta Healing Technique, 30 years doing meditation, and I teach the Theta Healing Technique, and I get asked that question a lot. I'm going to talk about two things really quickly. First, you experience it as being difficult, and I've experienced it as being difficult to tell the difference between your imagination and the higher truth. Because the higher truth you works through the imagination, it uses your imagination as the mechanism to communicate. Okay, It feels like it's your own voice in your own head giving you the answers, and that's really confusing because most of us feel it should be really super clear, like, oh, higher self, oh, God, oh, creator, you know, what should I do in this situation? And we think we should get an answer that's like this. Hello, Steve. This is your higher self. And we want it to be that clear. And it just isn't. Almost always, it just never is. Occasionally, for super high-level spiritual people, probably it does sound kind of like that. But for you and me, it doesn't work. It just feels like our imagination. So when you get this knowledge, when you get this information, the trick of trusting is to trust it. Does it fulfill, for me, does it fulfill three or four basic uh, qualities? Is it compassionate? Is it simple? Is it non-judgmental? And the fourth, <laughs> does it not make sense? That's right. Often it will not make sense. It will be some weird answer that your brain and your ego can't like grab onto. Like, what? Are you kidding me? That, what? Um, you know, the less dramatic it is, usually the more the higher truth is. Okay? So, follow those four ideas and learn to act, learn to take action, and learn to communicate what you're being given, even if it doesn't make sense. Okay? Practice on small things first. Okay? Practice on, you know, simple things like, should I um, brush my teeth first or have a shower? Should I go left or should I go right? And just let something come into your mind. You can close your eyes if you want. Ask the question and see what answer gets, uh, what answer comes. So that's the basic trick. Um, in the long run, what I'll suggest you do, whether it's through me or somebody else, take the Theta Healing classes if you can. You know, the, at least the basic Theta Healing class. They give you a very clear how-to process about how to begin to do this in a really kind of um, concrete way. Okay, and then you can evolve from there. So that's it. I hope this made a difference. I just want to say I'm really grateful I get to do these videos. I'll probably say this every time I do these videos. Um, I'm lucky because I've 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 found I found a way to to do it without having to depend on this as the only way to um, support myself. I do support myself a lot with this with the Theta Healing classes and the clients through heartgrid.com. But if you're like me, these things come and go. And if you're looking to learn a lot of things, take a lot of classes, which we all love to do, but you don't have the money and the time, there's something I manifested, I asked the Creator to manifest for me, something in addition to give me the stability to be able to do that without losing control over my time and uh, have enough money <laughs> to do it because this world is really up and down with these things. So 
If that rings a bell with you also in your life in some way, just kind of click the button below, um, see if we can kind of play together a little bit and uh, manifest some, some really cool abundance that lets us all play like this because I love doing these things. I love it. Thank you very much. I'll see you later.